Once again, the Royalists win initiative and move first. Uh, the infantry advance the throw six, so they can actually move 12 inches across the field, which brings them right into melee with the parliamentarian forces. So it's going to be a bloodletting at the moment. Artillery desperately trying to load canister. Screams of the wounded and dying echoing around them. As you can see, it's absolute may. Muskets going off, pikes. Hit, any, hit the enemy with anything you can. The back of your musket, anything, just trying to survive. Casualties start to mount up. The Prince Rupert's foot take a casualty. And again, you can see casualties mounting up. The right, infantry regiment on the right has also got two casualty markers. The parliamentaries, he's got a casualty marker, shaken marker, and casualty marker, and a disordered marker, as has the, the parliamentary unit on the right. For one of the royalists, uh, correction, one of the parliamentary regiments, it's too much. The casualties, the shaken marker, they fail the tape break test and start to run off down the road towards St. Neots. The gun crew, seeing the infantry regiment running, have to take a break test and fail it, and so abandon their gun and join the compatriots on the road to St. Neots. Things aren't going any better at the ruined church either. The Dragoons have inflicted two casualties and shaken the skirmishers. The single remaining parliamentary unit on the left is at breaking point. They've got three casualties, the shaken and the disordered. Um, things are really getting bad on this flank. Uh, they're going to need to take a break test, which they do, and actually pass it amazingly. On the right flank, the... Uh, Caracol scores another hit on the uh, infantry hedgehog. The light cannon fires but misses. Turn 3 begins and once again the Royalists uh, gain the first move. They decide to try and split their victorious infantry unit to attack the London train band of the parliaments with the pike. It's a successful uh, manoeuvre. The London train band are now being attacked from two sides as the pikemen from Prince Rupert's foot attack them from the right hand side. Things are moving from bad to worse for the parliamentarians. The two wings of musket from Prince Rupert's are now engaging the hedgehog, the closest to them, which is causing great problems. As we can see by all the casualty markers, shaken and disordered. Naturally the unit fails its brake test and it too is destroyed and legs it up the road to St. Neots. The Royalists now completely dominate this side of the battlefield. No parliamentarian forces left to face them. They are now free to engage and help the cavalry on the other flank. Same with the Dragoons. The skirmishers have fled, they are now free to mount up and join the battle on the other side of the table. Colonel Samuel Joseph now being attacked on two sides, cavalry and caracol and two sleeves of infantry are free to shoot into him, casualty markers and mounting up. He's forced to take a break test which amazingly he passes and so doesn't flee the field. The one parliamentary foot regiment, still in reasonable shape, manages to get off another shot and causes more casualties amongst the parliamentary cavalry, but it is the last action of the battle. So Thomas Fairfax has seen half his army either destroyed or fleeing down the Great North Road to St. Neots. His remaining two foot regiments are stuck in Hedgehog with no chance of redeploying or they'll be run down and slaughtered by the Royalist cavalry. 
With two more royalist foot and dragoons now advancing on him, he takes a painful decision to surrender, and in doing so, prevent further futile bloodshed. The Parliament forces had to lift the siege of St Neots due to the catastrophic defeat at Buckden, and Prince Rupert and his army made a triumphant entry to the town. Well, I hope you enjoyed that battle. I certainly enjoyed staging it. And uh, I hope you'll join me when I do another one in the future. If you can think of anything I might be able to improve, let me know. Maybe I'm waffling too much or not enough dice throwing for you. Let me know anyway. And thanks for watching.